So I went on a walk with my son today and I decided to figure out how far I'd have to walk in order to burn off one pound of fat. Since everybody likes to keep telling me, Kevin, I know everything that I need to know about having a diet. All you got to do is move more, get out and exercise more. You can't lose weight without exercising. And uh, what I'd like to say is I really don't think you can lose weight by exercising. Uh, obviously, it helps. Uh, it's in addition to your diet. But it's not going to be significant weight loss unless you have significant time to devote to it, significant energy to devote to it. Energy and time, most of us that are working full time and have a family just don't have. You work 10 hours a day, commute two hours a day, uh, working six days a week. We have family that we have to cater to. We're tired. We still need some time for ourselves. And um, packing all of this in with that and the amount of time I'm going to show you it takes is just almost impossible, at least impossible to stick to unless you're like a marathon runner. Um, but we, uh, this is based on my height and weight, based on the fact that I'm a man. Uh, but it doesn't take into account slow thyroid, people's differing digestive systems, insulin resistance, you know, so... Take it for what it's worth. It's just an estimate that I put in the Under Armour Map My Walk. And um, it estimates how many calories I burn and how far of a distance. Now, it doesn't look like it really tracks um, elevation change. And it was a little bit of a hike. We went up some and down some. So uh, this is a walk that my son and I do pretty regularly up to a fire gate near our house and back. Um, so it does have some incline, not a lot, but uh, it's not like hiking up a mountain, but it isn't like a flat walk on a track either. Uh, but it doesn't really seem to take that into account. So we went 1.45 miles and uh, it says it burnt 286 calories. So let's take our, one, uh, um, our 286 and divide it by 1.45 to get a rough estimate of how many calories per mile I can burn. It says 196. Okay, so let's just round it up to 200 calories per mile um, so that it's easy math. We know that 3,500 calories is the generally accepted calorie content in a pound of fat. We also know that calories, that's kind of a rough science, right? Because uh, a calorie doesn't necessarily burn in your body the way that it does in mine, doesn't burn in mine the way that it does in others. So calorie is just a, a rough estimate of energy that is stored in your body. And in a pound of fat, we're going to call it 3,500 calories because that's what's uh, that's how it's measured. So you take that, divide it by 200 calories per mile, and we get 17.5. So 17.5 miles you have to walk to burn one pound of fat. Um, that, you know, those little 100 calorie snacks, you think, oh, that's barely anything. Well, at least I think that's barely anything. And yet you have to walk a half a mile to burn it off. And it's no wonder I put on weight because I eat a lot more than that. And I don't walk 17 and a half miles a week, even though I should, uh, let's see. It was, it's roughly 2000 steps per mile. So let's go with 2,000 steps per mile on that 17 and a half. That's 35,000 steps to get a pound of fat gone. Um, it's amazing. Honestly, it's amazing what your body can do with a calorie because what, what is that? That's 10 steps per calorie of fat. I mean, you, that's a tiny amount of energy and you can go 10 steps with that. I mean, it's almost like we are the most fuel efficient vehicle on the planet or something. Holy moly. Um, but anyway, 35,000 steps to get rid of a pound of fat. That means 5,000 steps a day. And in a week, you'll lose a pound of fat roughly. Uh, that just doesn't seem efficient to me. It's much more efficient to attack your weight loss with your diet and then get in shape with exercise. It's a two-part program, right? I mean, and it's something that I was doing. I was doing a pretty good job of it there for a minute. I should have stuck to it because I felt a lot better about myself, with myself, and as myself. I felt better, you know. I woke up. I didn't have the pains I do now. Um, but it's something I need to get back into. And I just cannot fathom. Um, I cannot fathom trying to... had an ant walking up my leg. Uh, apparently he tracked me, he tracked with me in from the hike. Um, I cannot fathom doing enough exercise to lose the kind of weight that I need to lose. 
you know, obviously it's a good supplement. It's something that can add on to my diet. But the bottom line is I have to change my diet in order to lose the weight. I know keto and fasting is the only thing that has ever worked for me. And it's the only thing that's going to work for me because I've tried multiple things since then too. And it just, nothing works except for keto and fasting for me. Um, you know, obviously other people's bodies may be different. Some people may do very well on some kind of caveman diet, some kind of um, paleo diet or some kind of high calorie, low fat diet. Um, keto is the only thing that's ever worked for me. And I've tried it all. I've tried it all. Weight Watchers, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. Your body can just shut down to the point where you're barely burning. I mean, look, you're already only burn a pound of fat for going 35,000 steps. Um, it's, and it gets even worse than that. I promise you, it gets to the point where you're just walking miles and miles and miles and see absolutely zero effect. Your body is amazing in the way that it can preserve your fat. If that's the body type that you have, it's the body type I have. Keto and fasting is the way to go. Carbs are your enemy. Exercise to get in shape. Diet. Get your diet under control to lose weight. We're going to do it together, guys. Um, that's all I have to say today. I'll talk to you later.